Hello, this is Heath, and welcome to Burcom Systems iPlex voicemail setup and training. We're going to quickly go over how to set up and use your iPlex voicemail box. First things first is on your phone, which may or may not look like this. You should have a button that either says messages or has an envelope on it. This is how you're going to get into your voicemail box if you want to set up or listen to your voicemails on your handset. So we're going to go ahead and run through a quick setup process of a brand new voicemail box to show you what that's like. First I'm going to press the messages button. Password. I'm going to be prompted for my password. The first time you log in to your voicemail box, your password is your extension number. Welcome to iPlex Mail. First, I will guide you through a short setup process. Please enter your new password followed by the pound key. Now you'll select a new password. This can be anything that you'd like as long as it is not your extension number again. I'm going to use 123. Please re-enter your password followed by the pound key. Your passwords have been changed. After the tone, say your name and then press the pound key. Heath Larson. You want to say your full name so that we can utilize this for the company directory. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this recording. Press 2 to listen to it. Press 3 to re-record your message. If you're unhappy with your name, you can press 3 to re-record or 2 if you'd like to hear it. I'm going to go ahead and accept. Your message has been saved. You have no messages. Press 2 to change folders. Press I'm going to hit the end call button to end this. Now that your voicemail box is set up, let's go through the options available to you. First things first, we'll show you what happens when you actually get a voicemail notification. Now you'll notice that I have a notification on my phone that I have a new voicemail. There's also a blinking envelope up here on the top right and your LED notification light will blink on the top right that shows you you have a voicemail. To connect to your voicemail you will have an option now on your soft key to press the connect button or you can utilize your envelope button. Password. I'm now going to use my password to get into the voicemail you box. You have one new message. Press one for new messages. Press two to change folders. Press three I'm going to hang up on that real quick. So the first option she'll give you is to press one to listen to your new messages. You can do that if you want to listen to any unread messages that you might have. Option two she'll give you is to change folders. That is to listen to any other messages that might be saved into different folders in your voicemail box. Option three is for advanced options. This is in case you wanted to add the call envelope to your voicemail messages or forward your voicemail messages elsewhere while you're gone away. Option four is to listen to messages that you left in your voicemail box but have not been saved into a folder. Option five is to repeat the message that you just listened to. Option six will allow you to skip your current message and move on to the next. Option seven will delete the message you're currently listening to or just finished listening to. Option 8 will allow you to send the message to another extension, so if you get a voicemail by accident or would like to forward it on to your boss or another employee, you can use option 8 to send that to their direct extension. Option 9 is to save the message that you're currently listening to. Option 0 will take you into your mailbox options. Star is to help, that will repeat all of your options for you, and pound is to exit. If you use the zero option for your mailbox options, you can change your personalized greetings if you don't want to use the default. The first option in your mailbox options is your unavailable message. This message plays if your phone rings and you do not answer it. Option two is your busy message. This will play if you are on the phone or if you are in do not disturb mode. Option three is to re-record your name if you are unhappy with the way it sounds or you change your name. Option four is a temporary message. You can place a temporary message on your voicemail box and it will play over top of your existing message until you delete it. This is usually used in the case of a vacation or some sort of notification for a temporary office outage. Option five is to change your password. If you want to change your password again, you can use option five to do so. Just keep in mind that you can use anything that you'd like as long as it is not your extension number. Another thing to note, if you want to check your voicemail from another phone in the building or remotely, you can utilize star 98 as access to your voicemail. So if I'm on any phone in the building and I dial star 98. 
iPlex mail mailbox. It's going to ask me for my mailbox because I could be calling from any phone. I will tell them which mailbox I am, which is 2013, password. and then my password, which is 123. You have one. I can now check my messages from any phone in the building. Or, if you're calling from an outside line, you can use this when you get to your company's menu or automated attendant. Also note that on iPlex, standard, if your system administrator has allowed it, you will also receive email notifications of all voicemails that are left in your voicemail box. This will include the time, date, duration, and caller ID of the incoming voicemail. There will also be a WAV file attached that you can then click to listen to on your smartphone, tablet, or PC the actual message that was left. Please note that all the messages left via email and all the messages left on your physical voicemail box are independent from one another. Deleting or listening to one will not affect the other. So if you listen to them on your email, you will still be notified on your phone that you have a voicemail. Okay, let's go ahead and check this voicemail. I'm going to press my messages button. Password. And then use my password, one, two, three. You have one new message. Press one for new messages. We'll press, press one to listen to, to that message. Message. This is a test voicemail, one, two, three. Now during this voicemail, this is Heath Larson. if I get a number Testing. that I want I to catch voicemail. again, one, I can two, use three. this star key I voicemail. to back one, two, this message three. up three seconds at a voicemail. time. One, two, in order three, to continue two, listening over and over until I can get one, two, the email three. or phone number that I would like. Test. One, two, three. I can also use the pound key Voicemail test. to fast Thank forward this message. Thank you for your time. All the way to the end. Press three for advanced options. Press five to repeat the current message. Press seven to delete this message. Press eight to forward the message to another user. Or nine to save this message. I'm gonna go Press ahead and save this message help. by or pressing which nine. Which folder should I save the message to? Press zero four new messages. One four old messages. Two four work messages. Three, four, family, messages. Four, four, friends, messages. Or pound to cancel. I'm going to go ahead and save Message this into work one. messages. Save to work messages. No more messages. Press three. Now, when she gives you those options for folders, if you select zero for unread messages, it will act as if it's a brand new voicemail. Or you can save it into your old work, family, or friends message folders if you would like. This has been your Vercom iPlex voicemail training. If you have any questions or concerns regarding voicemail or any other features of the iPlex phone system or your Yealink phone, please contact us via www.vercomsystems.com or 937-847-2550, option 2 for support. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.